In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your blockchain based applications or dApps to the live web so that other people can use them and interact with them. And the best part about this whole tutorial is that I'm going to show you how to do this 100% for free. You're not going to have to pay any hosting costs or anything like that so that other people can see and use your project. So I'm actually making this video in response to a comment I got on YouTube recently. Um, the jockey said, hey, can you please point me to a tutorial uh, where these web apps are deployed to the live to the internet? So that's exactly why I'm making this video. I'm sure lots of uh, you have this question, not just the jockey. So I wanted to, you know, show you how to do this updated for 2020 uh, for free so that you can start, you know, putting your projects out there. Maybe you're trying to get a job. Maybe you just want to show things off. Um, you know, whether you've done one of my tutorials in the past or you're building your own project from scratch, you know, this is going to be a really beneficial uh, thing for you to know. All right. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory from DAP University. And on this channel, I teach you how to become a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then click the like button down below and click subscribe. And if you want to become a real world blockchain developer, then you should head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. How are we going to deploy our projects to the web so that people can use them for free? Well, we're going to use GitHub pages to do this. All right, so if you're not familiar, um, GitHub is a website that allows you to, you know, open source your um, project code. Like if you, uh, you know, create a dApp or you create any kind of piece of software and you want to, you know, share the source code with the world, uh, you can do that with GitHub. You can create a repository. This is a GitHub repository here um, that has some source code inside of it that other people can, you know, read. You can collaborate on projects. GitHub's really nice. So you can just read more about it on Google if you want to. But GitHub has a really nice feature called GitHub Pages where you can take a repository and create a special website for it so that people can use the source code inside of it. All right, so that's an example that I just showed you here. This is an app that's running on GitHub Pages, 100% for free. I don't have to pay any kind of hosting costs in order to make this work. All right, so let me show you how to use GitHub Pages uh, for your existing projects, All right? So what we're going to do is take one of my uh, existing tutorials and adapt it to deploy it to the web. We're not going to build an entire project in this um, video. You know, you can go back and watch any of the previous tutorials on this channel and just adapt them to work like this. Specifically, we're going to take this social network tutorial and deploy it live to the web. All right. So you can go check out that tutorial if you want to build this from scratch. Uh, but we're not going to build it from scratch in this video. OK, um, you don't necessarily have to have seen it in order to make sense of what's going on here. You just can just adapt these instructions towards your own uh, use case. All right. So uh, first, we're going to take this URL and we're going to go to our terminal and say git clone. All right. And then paste in the URL here. So I've already done this, so I get an error, right? I created this project on my computer a few months back. So it says I've already got a project here, but you should see a success message. Um, and whenever you do, uh, we can enter into the newly created directory like this. You just say CD social dash network. All right, next you wanna install all of the dependencies for the project like this. You can say NPM install. All right, and whenever that's finished, um, you can install the next dependency that we're going to need in order to deploy this project to GitHub pages. All right. So specifically, we're going to use this uh, NPM package called uh, react-gh-pages. It's just short for GitHub pages. Um, and we can follow their instructions on how to add this to our project like this. Uh, let's see here. We just say NPM install gh-pages, save dev. All right. Just like this. And that's going to add it to our project. Okay, that's finished. So now what I'm going to do is open up this uh, project in my text editor. I'm using Sublime Text. You can use whatever text editor you'd like. Um, but I'm going to open the file tree here. Just, you know, kind of see what was created. Make sure everything's set up properly. All right, we've got our uh, source directory. All right, we've got our contracts inside of here. Here's the smart contract for the social network. And then here is the... Um, Components directory with the app.js file. This is the main entry point for the application. All right. Well, I guess index.js is, but this is the main component that we use to build the project. Okay. So we're using React in this case, and that's why we want to use uh, this React specific package because this basically knows how to take React apps and put them on GitHub pages. All right. 
So we just need to add a few lines of configuration to our package.json file, uh, and then run some terminal commands, and we're ready to go. All right, so um, I guess the next thing I'll say is make sure that you have a Git repository set up. So you can't use uh, my social network repository, um, unfortunately, because I have you know code here. But you can create a new one like this. You can go back to uh, you know GitHub and click New Repository. And uh, let's see here if it'll walk through the setup steps. You can name it whatever you want to. You can just say my great repo. All right, and then click create repository. And then whenever that's done, um, you want to add a remote origin, all right, to your project like this. You'll say uh, get, well, what I would do is take the, remove the repository that you have now. So get remote dash V. This will show you my repository. Uh, you can say, you know, get remote remove origin, all right. And whenever that's done, you can say git remote add origin and then paste in your new URL here. All right, so I've already done it. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll walk through the setup steps live so you see it. Say clear, uh, git remote remove origin. All right, git remote add origin. And then enter in your new repository URL here. All right, and you can see which repositories you have by saying git remote dash V. All right, awesome. So make sure you got a GitHub repository. That's that's really the next prerequisite. So now all we have to do is specify that GitHub repository in our package.json file like this. Um, let's open this up. Let's go to package.json. And we're going to construct a home page URL. Okay, so inside of here, after dependencies, say home page, home page, uh, colon, and then do this. Oops, sorry. Sorry, we just want to do a string. So we say HTTP colon forward slash forward slash um so your username so in my case i'm i'm dap university dap university uh dot github dot io all right and then forward slash uh whatever the repository name is that you just created all right so in my case it's social network so i'm just going to copy that and paste it inside of your social network and then make sure you have a comma at the end of this line after the closing quotation mark okay so this specifies a home page inside your package.json file. This is where you'll actually be able to see uh, your website. So quick note, this is not the same URL as this. All right, that's really important to note. This is a special github.io username for, or sorry, URL for your GitHub page. All right, so save that. Um, the next thing we want to do is add some uh, scripts that are specified here. So if you scroll down, you can see uh, these are the build scripts that uh, are needed for the React app. So I'm just going to copy these um, and put them here. So after here, after eject, we're going to put in pre-deploy and deploy. All right. Save that inside the scripts folder. And uh, you can just grab this from the source code URL below uh, this video description. Uh, this should show you how to do all this if you don't want to type all this out yourself. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to run these scripts that we just added in order to create the build. Okay. So we can get status. All right. We just changed those two files. That's okay. All right. So um, let's do this. We'll say npm run deploy. And this, what's going to do is going to create a production build of React. All right, that's the first step. So it's going to do this, npm run build. All right, and it's going to create this new folder here called build. Basically, it's going to take all this source code for the React project and put it into a, a optimized JavaScript build inside this directory here. And then the second step is going to take that and it's going to deploy it to GitHub so that we can uh, look at that page on our... Um, uh, on our repository. I'll show you how that works. Okay. So um, that's done. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is say uh, git add dot git commit and say a message and say adds GitHub pages deployment. All right. Get status. And I'm going to push this to my origin repository. Git push origin. Let's just say yeah, let's do master. <laughs> And now, um, if I go to my GitHub repository, let's see here, refresh this. Okay, so you can see my new commit here that was you know, just a few minutes ago, adds GitHub uh, pages deployment. 
And if you go to the branches here, you should see uh, a new branch here, GH pages. So that's what the that's what the npm package did under the hood. It created a new branch called GitHub pages, and that's where uh, the source code goes for the build. All right. So if you look inside the build folder, and this is going to look really similar to what you see here. All right. Boom. There you go. So now what we do is just copy the URL that we constructed as the as the home page. Go to our browser, and let's just paste it here, and we should see our project. Awesome. There we go. So this is our project deployed live to the web. Now, if you're visiting this page for the first time, you may get like a MetaMask notification asking you to connect. That's okay. Um, but yeah, that's how easy it is to deploy your project live to the web with GitHub pages for free. All right. So I hope that helps answer your question. Um, and I hope more of you are helped by this because I'm sure you have this question too. Okay. So the next step, and this is your homework assignment, is um, to deploy your smart contracts to a test network. That's going to allow you for people to use the full stack project on the web. So this is just the first half of the equation. This is the front end website. The other uh, half of the equation is basically to deploy the back end, which is going to be you know your smart contract running on a test network. All right. So I highly recommend using the Covon test network and you can select Covon here and put your smart contract on there. And then, um, you know, this is the Covon ether scan. So this would show you how to do it that way. Okay. So, uh, I'm happy to make another video on how to do that. If that's something that you're all interested in, um, just let me know down in the comment section below if you want to see that video. Um, but yeah, until then, you know, as always subscribe to the channel, click the like button down below. And if you want to learn more about this kind of stuff, you know, how to deploy, uh, you know, real world blockchain applications, how to, you know, set up real world hosting environments, not just, you know, GitHub pages, but something a little more industrial strength that supports like uh, DNS and stuff like that. Um, basically, if you want to become a real world blockchain developer, then you should head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right. Until next time. Thanks for watching Dapp University.